Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 58 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Today, uh, I want to play a little bit more with Astral Sorcery, and uh, maybe try out a few more things, we'll see. Hooray, it works. Beautiful. I'm making myself a Lucerna Celestial Crystal. Uh, it's got the max out stats of 900 size and 100% cutting. Uh, the plan here is uh, I'm noticing mobs spawning around my base occasionally. Occasionally mobs are spawning around my base. And I think what's happening is this guy is just not quite perfect on the power. So what I'm gonna do is two things. One, I'm going to add a Celestial Crystal here. And two, I'm gonna upgrade uh, the ritual to make it maxed out because A, um, it will make it better. And B, it'll be really cool looking when it's done. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, shut down the ritual. I'm gonna remove this piece. So that should shut everything down and mobs are allowed to spawn now, basically, right? And and that would probably be indicative of mobs spawning nearby probably at some point soon. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and reactivate the ritual. I'm going to place down my attuned celestial crystal. You know what I have to do? Size 100. I have to uh, actually upgrade it to, to be actually, like, cool. So we're going to need uh, four aquamarines. Do, 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 do. And get them going. And uh, resonating on that. And then we're also going to need some illumination powder which we might be getting low on totally are uh it's just four glowstone around uh so i'll just do this with an aquamarine no big deal that should be easy peasy you should be done now so i can get another aquamarine placed here we might have lost a bucket there we go you're done Cool. And then we also need some Stardust. I think we need four. So let's go just pulverize one of them. I'm getting a little low on Star Metal Ore. It's kind of been in the back of my mind. Maybe I should automate that stuff. But uh, I'm not sure how much of it I need to automate. So we'll see. So that should be pretty cool. I do want to kind of kick this off more towards the night than anything else. So you're good. It's alright. It's going to be daytime by the time I get this up and running, but that's fine. Hey, did I lose uh, another bucket here? I must have. You look like you're out of place. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I want to max out that ritual up at the top, and hopefully with a Celestial Crystal on it. So it's been working good with the Collector Crystal, but I'm hoping with a Natoon Celestial Crystal going on, um, it will be even better. Uh, that's kind of the goal. And uh, if, if, if it doesn't turn out to be better, then we'll figure something else out. But hey, you got size 900. Nice. That is cool. Uh, I have another one growing here. Yay, Stardust. Uh, I'm going to let you grow. This working beautifully, by the way. Like, really proud of how well that works. Can't even tell you guys. All right, so uh, remind me on uh, how this thing works. Uh, it's um, resonating in the corner and then illumination on top and below. And then it should be stardust on the sides and we should be good to go. So this should be um, an attuned collector crystal celestial tier. So celestial collector crystal should be coming out of this thing. And it's attuned to Lucerna, so we should get more Lucerna Starlight power, which should really help out with that thing up there. Go, Autocrafter, go! Make me the thing. And otherwise, things are going good. You know what I could do? Let me get a... Just get another rock crystal, just because it takes a while for them to go. I'll just snag one of these dudes and some Stardust... Do, do, have fun in there. Do your thing. And grow. Grow as fast as you can. Nice. All right, so uh, let's come back when it's nighttime. And uh, there, there's things we can do to our rituals. And I might want to play with some other ritual stuff soon. But I think under Constellation, it'll tell me how to boost my rituals and make them even better. Or maybe it's not under that Constellation tab. Maybe it's under Exploration. I don't know. Alright guys, so it looks like it's getting to be nighttime. 
So step one here is going to give this guy that huge collector crystal, which should be a pretty nice boost. I might need my linking tool. You to there. All right, so hopefully that'll do a really nice boost to preventing mobs from spawning. Now, the next thing we have to do, I don't actually know if it's all that necessary for this ritual, um, but it looks really cool, so I kind of want to do it. And if we play with some other rituals, we may definitely want to do it for them. You might notice that once I've linked my collector crystal to the ritual, there's like a beam of light shooting out there. That is excess energy from that collector crystal being wasted. And we can refocus that beam of light back onto the ritual. That will give it basically an amplitude of power, makes it even stronger. Uh, and we're going to do that uh, by making crystal collector lens things. Uh, so there's lenses we have to make, these dudes. So we need some aquamarines, and so we need some rock crystals, gold, and other stuff. So let's just get uh, some gold and some marble and some aquamarines and some rock crystals, I would say, would be a good option here. I'm going to get, let's see, three, four. Let's start maybe with five. Oh, let's start with four, and we'll see if we need another one here. Uh, now, I'm not 100% sure how important the stats are to this thing, but we'll find out. So lenses need... I don't think I can click this in here, but len glass lens around the top with aquamarines, gold. So this, 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 and this. And then I made a bunch of glass lenses here. Um, what am I missing? Wood goes around the gold and then marble down to the bottom left of that. So I forgot some wood. Do, 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 do. Is that right? It looks right-ish, but we're going to find out because it's not. Uh, lens. What did I derp? What did I derp? What did I derp? Looks like any type of wood. And then ruined marble to the bottom left of that. I think that seems right to me. Maybe you don't like that it's like a multiple recipe thing going on. I thought I was just helping myself because I have to do a bunch of these, but maybe it doesn't like that. Does it have to be ruined marble or was it any kind of marble? Oh, it's ruined marble. A derp. There's your problem. Uh, so you, sir, with the chisel, 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 chisel. Oh, we already had one. Cool. Uh, to do larger satchel of tools because my satchel of tools is getting quite full. Thank you very much. All right, so ruined marble here and here. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Now I should have no problem getting this back into position. Getting that back up and running. That and that. Cool. So now I should be able to craft these. I'm going to make these four lenses and then be right back. Oh, and it should be noted that you get three lenses per craft here. That was not indicated in any of the JEI indicate stuff. I wonder if it's sold in here. Uh, I forget if lens, where our lens is here, crystal lens. It doesn't say you get three, but I'm totally getting three per craft or two. Oh, you know what I bet it is? I bet it's dependent upon the rock crystal that you put in there. I bet the stats of the rock crystal determine how many lenses you might get. I don't know. That's interesting. Cause I didn't bother to grow these before I uh, dropped them in here. So no idea how or or what these effects are. So so properties of the rock crystal also affect the lenses. Um, and I think it's more important for when you're trying to transmit starlight from one distant location to another. Uh, however, should be noted that it might also help with this thing that we're building, but we'll find out. So now we've got uh, this, this laser beam shooting out here. So basically what we want to do, um, let's, let's do it with some sandstone. Let's see, where are you exactly hitting? It's sometimes hard to determine. I want to say it's probably here. So let's stick a lens. So this was size 248. Interesting. Here. And if I linking tool the lens back at the ritual pedestal, what we should get um, is a beam of light 
gets reflected back and a new beam is gonna show up over here. Cool. So then I can do the same with that. And it's gonna create a new beam of light that will probably shoot out from the thing. And then we can stick that guy here. Link that back at the pedestal. Neat. And then another beam of light, uh, which needs another lens. Back at the pedestal. Cool, you get the gist? So then you, I wonder if I can stick you right on top here. Oh, I totally can, nice. Link that back. Now we're talking. So we might have just maxed out this ritual's ability to prevent mobs from spawning nearby, which is cool by my, by my approximations. I don't think there's any more beams of light shooting out of here, so I think we've maxed it out. So there's a couple things we could do, like, aesthetically looking. Uh, if we wanted to, we could grab... I probably left a bunch of stuff in here. Stuff that I was going to use. Maybe it would be neat to use marble pillars to support these things. And I'll just break this telescope. Because I don't think I technically need the telescope anymore. Uh, and then we could have the... Does that look pretty cool? I like it. Neat, right? So it, it amplifies the particle effects. It looks really cool. And uh, it definitely makes the ritual that much stronger. So that is a maxed out ritual. And other rituals... So this one's just kind of like it's it's working or it's not, right? Like mobs are spawning or they're not spawning. But other rituals do other things, right? So um, there's rituals that keep mobs pushed away if they happen to do spawn. Uh, that would increase the range of it if we did what we did there. Uh, there's rituals that um, Mineralis, for example, the ritual here, uh, uses starlight to enrich stone nearby with uh, minerals and uh, basically converts stone into minerals. It's a cool ritual um, for like producing resources, right? But uh, it would run faster if we did this feedback loop thing. Neat. All right, so we have uh, we should now definitely see no mobs nearby because we are like super maxed out on the starlight of this ritual. Like I would be hard pressed to see uh, this ritual failing to prevent mobs from spawning. And if it does at some point, then we will have to find out why. But I would, like I said, be shocked if it did. All right, so I'm putting all this stuff away. I'm cleaning up my inventory real quick. I just want to... It might be time to upgrade this satchel. I'm thinking I, it totally is. Um, I bet I could enchant it. Can I enchant it? Hey, you. Enchantments. Holding one through four. So, uh, enchantment factory. Hey, holding four. Look at that. Sweet. Well, that certainly improved things, didn't it? <laughs> What's up? I like it. Uh, so I'm going to put my resonating wand away. I can probably start wearing my magnet again. I should have another celestial crystal over here that maxed out to 900, hopefully. You should be done -ish. Yeah, you are. Cool. I'm just going to cut this guy down. Get him back to cutting 100%. That looks good to me. And then we'll let him grow again. But of course, I'm wearing my magnet, so that doesn't help. Uh, I should do something about that. What I could make... For all points where my magnet being a nuisance like that. Uh, there's a flower from Batania. Uh, what is it called? I'll recognize it when I see it. I forget the name of it. Um, there's some of the flowers. Uh, we're gonna want one of those soon. Shulk me nuts, right? Yeah, I remember you. Where are you? Not the Lunium, though you do look familiar. Solign Solignolia. This is a good flower. Um, it is two brown, a red, and a blue, and then a redstone root. So two brown, which need to be grown, a red and a blue. So let's get uh, some bone meal. And because I have so many of these, I'll just craft them rather than waiting for a pulverizer. And shears. Cool. Let's get myself some more brown here. Nice. 
So two brown, a red and a blue, right? We're good on red and blue. Yeah, we're cool. Uh, and then a redstone root, which is, I believe, some, I want tall grass. Because a redstone root is grass and redstone. I don't have any grass, so let's get some shears. There should be a biome nearby that should support me and my option to get grass. I'm just gonna get a bunch of it, because why not? The magnet will help there. And then we'll just throw it in the refined storage system for later when we need it. So you can go away, you can go away. One of these goes here. And then we're gonna obviously want some seeds to craft this thing. So the Solignolia is a nifty flower. Um, basically what it does is nullifies the effects of a magnet in an area. So you can see my magnet right now is sucking up that item, right? So there's a couple instances where you don't want a magnet to affect an area. And that's why, frankly, uh, the magnet from Batania is absolutely one of my favorite magnets added by any of the mods. There's, there's a handful of mods out there that add magnets, right? Um, the ability to disable it in a specific area, I think is exclusive to Batania. I don't think any other magnet mods or any other mods that add magnets have the ability to say, yeah, but don't work here. Um, and that's exactly what I want. So I'm still wearing my magnet, but watch what happens when I drop the celestial crystal in there. Boom. It's, it's not getting vacuumed up. How cool is that? And even if you look at the magnet, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but there used to be like a visual indication on the item itself that it wasn't working. So if you're in range of that Solignolia, it's just not gonna work. See, if I drop my um, my shears there, like right now, it's kind of like got a disabled look, but soon it'll turn back on. And it, so the magnet's working. It's just, when I go over here, it won't be working. It, it, it It's nullified in this area. That's what that flower does. And it is an awesome feature. So now I don't have to worry about wearing a magnet uh, near any of my stuff. Cool. All right, so we've boosted that ritual. I'm debating right now if I want to take a little break from Astral Sorcery and circle back to it later after the, like, there's a few other things we could play with, but we've covered a lot of the mod. Um, haven't, haven't made the Mantle of the Stars yet. Kind of considering it. Not sure if I want to. Um, cause it is a cool, it is a cool thing. Um, and there's, there's lots of, um, constellation upgrades you can do to that Mantle, as you recall. Uh, but... Let's maybe look at changing gears for a little bit. Uh, let's come back in a moment because I want to think about how I want to do my next build. So guys, I'm thinking it's starting to get to the point where I should start thinking about spawning and killing withers. Uh, so there's two things I'm going to want to do. I've got a mob imprisonment tool with a wither skeleton in it. Remember I fished that out of the nether so long ago I don't actually remember when it was. Um, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, so, so basically couple things right i'm probably gonna want more Tyrion too right so Tyrion, i've got some of but i could probably use a little bit more let's get another stack of it uh and chisel that down into fun times uh, zip, doop, this and that cool uh so let's build this kind of with the appropriate sizing in mind right so this guy's like a pretty decent range what i remember so we'll want to think about exactly where we want this placed so that it's a sensible range. Um, so if I place him here, what kind of working area do we look at here? Uh, not terrible. I, I kind of want it to be on par with this one, so I might bump it back a little bit. So let's uh, hide working area. We'll push it back here, show working area. That's frankly not terrible. I think I could manage that. Um, and I want to do things a little bit differently um, with regards to the, the collection um, of items and the killing of the mobs, right? We're not going to use uh, a, a mob crusher here. We're going to use something a little different because we're killing wither skeletons. We actually care a little bit more about um, the results of the killing of the wither skeletons. So technically, wither skeletons can also, as a result, spawn out here. So let's do the same thing we did in the past, which is just uh, we will get... You know what I could probably do is use my builder's wand. Windy, apparently. Uh, you... Do we have a wand in here that I could borrow that is builderish? Yeah. And let's do that. Up and down from the target block. I just want it to look a little bit nice. 
And that just should prevent mobs from spawning where we don't actually want them to spawn. And that all sounds good to me. Yes, 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 I know. And there's more here to be kind of cleared out, so let me just fill in this area and then we'll come back. How's that sound? All right, so next stage would be uh, to run conduiting. And I'm trying to keep it like as smart as I can about this. So let's just make sure that everything's as filled in as possible um, with regards to, you know, fluid ducts and that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm in Raven mode right now, so that I'm like in one block space. So that should be filling up fluid essence. Nice. All right, cool. So I'm all nice and tight in the block space here. You can be covered up. So basically the only like open space here is where the, the piping runs. And man, do I love Morph. How I've missed you, my friend. So cool to have Morph back, let me tell you guys. It's a little tricky sometimes to sneak your way between blocks, but where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, so that should run that dude. How about power? How much power do you even use? I forget. Could I could I pull this off with a wireless doohickey from X Utilities? Is that sufficient, or are we gonna run low on power by doing that? Well, we'll give it a shot. Cool. So you should be getting juice now. Um, always active, active on redstone signal. That's totally what we're gonna want. So with those settings, we should be pretty safe in terms of mobs being spawned. Um, they should be spawned in this pretty much this area. Um, Looks like it spawns like a significant amount below as well. But I've got that all filled in, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, provided that there's no open spacing under this floor, which I really don't think there is. So we should be good there. So let's close off the show working area thing. We'll see if that's enough. Um, you know, lighting and all that. Um, but we should be good. So that's all up and running. So the next thing to do is just build out the room. So let's do that real quick. So you're going to basically be... Um, a mirror image of this room. So, Builder's Wand. I suspect I'm going to need more Tyrion. So let's just get another stack. Can I? Would that be alright with you guys? A uh, quick stack of you guys and we should be cool. Now, do I have... I do have a closed-in wall there. I guess it doesn't super duper matter. Uh, but I guess for the appearances of looks and everything, it would be nice. Let's make sure that we are, in fact, enclosing in the entire area that this affects. I'm gonna put you in this mode. And you can go into, oh, wrong mode. Uh, let's clean this up quickly. There and there. And I could probably get out of this for the time being. That looks good. I think I got two extra of those, didn't I? Yeah, totally. Nice, okay. Much cooler now. And it would be nice to have some more dark ineffable glass. Dark ineffable glass. I've got a bit. Could I have a little bit more, you think? Let's get lapis. Let's get a stack of it. Um, and go upstairs real fast and get that cooking in this thing as quickly as possible. Could probably get some more speed upgrades going sooner than later, but we'll, we'll think about holding off on that for a minute. Do we have more speed upgrades in the thing? We do have four of these. The deal with these is you want more than four, though, because they can stack higher. But one more of these and we'll have enough for now, and then we can just let the rest craft. Cool. Dark, ineffable glass. So we've got that bit now. Sweet. That should be good. So down here... We'll do a three by three in the center-ish. We can shut this show working area thing off and we can do that. Nice. Now this room doesn't technically need to be dark, by the way. Um, so it's totally okay if it's not. Uh, you, hold on. Let's make this the floor and then did I get four of these? Good, I can just turn it right back into that. Beautiful. All right, so this room doesn't really need to be dark. Um, but the next thing I want to do is I want this room to work kind of like my mob killing area in that I will have, um, let's say, uh, conveyor belts from Dark Utilities pushing mobs towards, let's have just a few more of these, uh, pushing mobs towards a grinder. 
So a mob grinder, the reason I want to use the mob masher, this thing, uh, so I'm going to need a block of iron. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight swords. And then I can make one, I'm going to need two more blocks of iron. Two, boom, sweet. So the mob masher has a bunch of upgrades. One of them specifically is beheading, which is cool. It basically in increases your chance of getting ahead from a mob. So I wanna spawn wither skeletons and then use the mob masher upgrade for beheading to kill them such that we have a good chance of getting a uh, wither skeleton skull because that's what we're after here, right? So let's get 20 of these. Um, so I'm gonna put this away. Give me a sec to clean up inventory for a moment. Z I don't need my linking tool at the moment. I don't even know how that came out. I thought I had cleaned everything up already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then gold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Put all that away. 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's make sure that we just have a healthy amount of you. If I was using uh, compacting drawers, I'd be in much better shape. Gold helmets, please, that don't derp up too much. I thought I made enough gold helmets, did I not? I must be a derp. Of course, I have all this damaged gold stuff in here as a result of the mob grinding system downstairs, but it's all good. So this should help with the killing of the mobs. So I'm gonna stick this dude here and let's 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 light this room up for a moment. Bing! Ooh, I like that. That is cool. The nice thing about it is it's like, it's just a cool looking light. What do you want from me? It's neat. Um, you know, technically this room doesn't need to be dark. So I could just do like this. And I'm gonna turn that light off. Did you guys actually place or no? There you go. So I'm gonna want a lever on this thing to turn it on and off, right? And I'm gonna want vector plates that push these dudes into here, right? So long story short, I'm gonna want this. So wherever they spawn, they'll be pushed into the center location. And then uh, remember hold shift when you're placing this stuff. We're gonna want a few more vector plates, at least two more sets should be fine. And then we have a few extra for later. That should be good. Um, and then you are just gonna have a redstone signal get applied to you to turn things on. Now, if the mob happens to spawn right on top of this, he'll eventually just walk into that. So you're good, you get your mob masher upgrade. You just need a redstone signal and you should be good to go. So let's get another lever and I'm gonna stick you on the outside so I can turn you on easily enough so with that you should be running in there or not is it here is this where it needs to go are you running now yay we have stuff and things uh, and then what I'm gonna get from dark utilities is it dark utilities yeah I want an ender hopper and I'm going to stick that right on top of the interface here. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is, well, actually, oof, with the lever being there, that's a nuisance now because that's interfering with the ender hopper. And I don't think I can put the ender hopper on the side of an interface. I can. Okay, that's cool. So the redstone signal is disabling it, but it's not now. So that should work. So in theory, if I drop something like a vector plate, it should get... Ender hopper it up. Go ahead, ender hopper it up. Sweet. And it should go right into here. Now, if we look in here for a vector plate, we should have the one. Perfect. So that means anything that dies in there will get that. Cool. So now, come on, let me just find the center of this block. I can stand on it. I can put the mob imprisonment tool, and we can activate it. Ow, withering. Ow, withering. Let me out of here. Nice. I'm gonna take off my magnet for a minute because it's you know being a nuisance. So unlike the 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 animal farm grinder thing, oh, we're gonna have to manage those experience orbs, aren't we? 
because they're going to be a nuisance. And I'd really like to be able to, like, remotely turn that on and off without going into the room to do it. Come on, let me out of here. It's tricky getting out. Because you have to hold shift to not go on the vector plates. But guess what? Holding shift makes ineffable glass solid that you can't walk through it. So it's a little bit of a mishmash. But it's okay, we'll be fine. Hey, wow, wither skeleton skulls. We just got a lot. <laughs> that is beautiful. All right, so lots of wither skeleton skulls from that. Uh, we're gonna need to deal with that experience orb stuff. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna deal with that experience orb stuff. I mean, there's the experience solidifier. Um, Collector, some kind of collector that can collect experience. Um, I mean, there's the there's there, there's the thermal machine, which I don't even know if I still have one. Didn't I make one? What did I do with it? It's not sitting in this room, so I don't know where it is. Right, the one that does experience collection. What's it called again? Uh, it was nullifier, fluid allocator. Thermal mediator, no, it's improving the speed. Collects experience in an area. Insightful condenser. I don't know where that block went, but maybe I could get one of those to collect the experience. Now, do you need line of sight? That is the first question uh, that I don't have an answer to. Insightful doohickey. So you're gonna need a device frame, which apparently needs a copper gear in the center. And then, I don't know if you're going to use this book or not, so I guess in the interest of being really safe about it not wasting the experience, I will drain the book of all experience. We will hit you on you. We'll put the book there. Insightful Mediator. Yeah, it did use the book. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, and you took my book, didn't you? Yeah. Tome of Knowledge. I'm going to want another one. Boom. And then I'll just put my experience back in the tome. Haha, -ha, take that. Everybody wins, especially Direwolf. So will you work through walls? Question of the day. Like, what if I just stuck you here? Well, the experience is gone. Hey, it works through walls. Uh, but you've got a lot of essence of knowledge. Um, now, I believe I can put a tome in there. I can right click it with a tome? I can shift right click it with a tome. Dude. Certain catalysts will boost production. So it converts it to a fluid form, right? So what if we, I think if I stored it in a tank. So let's get one of these. I'm gonna get a Signalum conversion kit which will be all kits right and then what I'm gonna do is put holding on it so you're making signalum real quick it did everything else already which is awesome um, you're just working on signalum let's go there you are it did the uh, redstone bucket thing and now it's just doing that cool so SIG Nalem Conversion Kit should upgrade this guy in one go. And then we will enchant him with holding four so that you're really good. And then I'll say, um, can I rotate you? Did you just waste all that experience? You better not have. You disable, please. Eh, it did waste the experience, but it's fine, I'll live. Uh, you here configured for output there. Now, if I turn this dude on for a sec. Wow. 
you should be collecting experience. And it should be going into this tank. See? There's a little bit of experience in there. And if I right-click the Tome of Knowledge on a tank, it'll absorb it. That is cool. So see how it's taking the experience out of the tank? And I can shift right-click it into my player. That's cool. All right. So that'll work for me. So that'll collect the experience from the Wither Skeletons. Um, and then the obviously the other thing will pick it all up and, and put it away. Now, are you having trouble keeping up? No, you're fine. Yeah, you got speed upgrades in here, just fine. Sweet. That should work pretty well, dudes. Just want to make sure all the items eventually disappear. There's nothing being stuck. Remember, you want to have that empty block space there, because if the items are being pushed by the, the, the vector plates, then they never get picked up, because it's like a little bit of a tug-of-war kind of thing that happens there. Sweet. So, uh, Wither Skeleton Skulls is a thing. Alright, so I'm going to say this is a good wrapping up point for the episode. Let's come back next time and play a little bit more. Uh, it might be getting to the point where we should look at making a Wither spawning and killing machine. I think that would be fine. Um, but for now, it's wrapping up point. So, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, might be getting into some other stars soon, which should open up a lot of possibilities for us. A few, few other mods and a few other things that we get to play with once we have access to nether stars. Alright guys, you know the deal. Take it easy.